When I was 275 pounds, I wanted to lose weight, but I was really struggling. I didn't really have any self-discipline. I had a really hard time making and sticking to a plan, and I knew I needed to find a way to get results without doing a lot of work to get them. So I wanna share my Lazy Girl's Guide to Weight Loss. It's three easy steps, and it made sticking to what I was doing effortless so that I was able to lose 50 pounds of fat in three months. Remember the friends, I am not a doctor. I'm just a me who lost a lot of weight. I have no papers. I'm not a professional. Don't listen to me. This is just my experience and my opinion and what works for me, honey. So the world might call this lazy. Kyle and I, my husband, we've lost the same amount of weight, kept it off for over nine years now. We like to call this efficient. We've learned you work smarter, not harder, meaning we like to maximize the results and minimize the amount of effort that you have to put in to get the results. Number one, don't waste too much time on exercise. Diet is the key. I can't tell you how many years and how much time I wasted on thinking that exercise was gonna help me lose the weight. The thing is, you can out train a bad diet. Getting your diet in check is like 95% of what's gonna get you the weight loss results. You have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. That's the only rule. Meaning you need to consume less calories than you burn. You have to get your diet in check first and then the exercise becomes the cherry on the cake. Now you're not like wasting all this time putting into exercise. You can now focus on what actually matters Kyle and I did this the lazy way right away. We tried so many different things and it just caused us to be overwhelmed and then we would just chuck our diets out the window. So when we started what actually worked, we didn't change anything that we were eating. Instead, we started portioning it out. So for example, we were eating a bag of chips, a family sized bag of chips every single night for a snack each. Instead of giving up the chips or like changing, we just shared the bag and split it into a bowl. So this is literally the size of bowl that we ate and the bag of chips divided into two equal bowls like that. So we were automatically eating less calories. We were going in a calorie deficit without changing what we were eating, just eating a bit less. And this is obviously a decent sized portion. So that really helped. We both had emotional eating really bad. Any sort of number counting, number tracking, calorie counting, we couldn't do it. It triggered our emotional eating. So the easiest way to start portioning food was literally on the backs of packages. There's a serving size. So um, half a cup is a serving size of oats. So we literally started using the backs of packages. No thinking oh, that's the serving. And we started making a meal plan using the serving sizes on packages. We'd weigh ourselves at the end of the week. If we lost weight, we knew those serving sizes were good. If we didn't lose weight or we gained weight, we knew to pull back just a little bit because we didn't want to take away too much because that just caused us to fail in the past. The other thing that's like a super lazy way to do something to get in a calorie deficit without even thinking, we literally just switched from what we were eating, the regular version, to the low cal version. So for example, like I tell this story all the time, I was drinking seven regular cans of Dr. Pepper every single day. That's almost a thousand calories in liquid, but I wasn't ready to give it up and I wasn't ready to eliminate some of the cans. So I literally just switched from regular pop to diet pop. I saved myself almost a thousand calories a day. I still was drinking seven cans of pop, but it was diet. So I still got the pop, but I was in a calorie deficit because I was consuming less calories without feeling like I was giving anything up. So that's what we mean by lazy, working smarter, not harder. We're in calorie deficits without really giving up any of our foods. The only things we were changing was how much we were eating and then like choosing the low calorie version was saving us calories and we were still eating the foods that we loved. We didn't buy any special food. We tried all that in the past. 
All it did was waste time and money, like getting the food, money buying special food, and we couldn't stick to it. Buying food that we liked, like the chips and dividing it in a portion. Or um, Kyle and I love like pizza, french fries. So we still like went and bought that stuff, but we chose lower calorie versions at the grocery store and stuff. And um, we just went to like Walmart, just where we could afford it and just bought regular food and just portioned it out. Number two. The second step is to always have no cook food options on hand, like at all times. Always have things in the house that require no cooking at all. Maybe a microwave, but that's it. Because you're gonna have days where you don't wanna do the meal prep. You don't have time. You're really hungry and you forgot to prep your meal and you need food now or you're gonna go off track. So it's really important to have those things. Kyle and I tried the hours of complicated long meal preps and it really, by, you know, after a few months of doing it, we were like, this is not sustainable. We won't, We don't wanna do this for yeah, the rest of our lives. You kinda of wanna remove all the excuses that yes. you're gonna have. Um, to stop your weight loss journey, you kind of want to take those out because me and Nicole have been doing this 10 years. Yes. To do long, complicated meal preps for a decade straight, it's not sustainable. No. And like these things that we're sharing with you, these easy steps, they didn't just help us lose 50 pounds in three months. We both went on to lose a total of 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for over nine years now. We learned that like there's no ROI in cooking. We do much better because we love super tasty food, but we don't love doing long cooking meal preps. So we need something tasty, low calorie, that's gonna keep us full, but that we can make really quick. So no cook options, like we love these lean turkey pepperonis. These ones are from Costco, they're the Grimm's. They don't taste like turkey at all if you're like, you haven't tried these before and look at 50 cows a stick six grams of protein a stick and we travel with these if we're going out like doing grocery shopping or errands or traveling somewhere out and about like we bring these super portable no cook great snack great for a meal we've put these on low calorie pizza like they're very versatile lunch meat more no cook options as you can see we always are using it pepperoni is 50 calories a slice or 150 for three this is 70 cows for two ham slices this is the costco one that's from walmart other great no cook options cottage cheese plain greek yogurt we always show you guys has tons of protein in it we get the fat free and flavor it ourselves because the flavored kind like it's tasty but it does have more calories so we like to do the plain and flavor it ourselves no cook option you're not going to believe this egg whites are pasteurized you don't have to cook them i will put them in something like oatmeal put it in the microwave high protein oatmeal couple minutes in the microwave i replace the liquid like the water with egg whites Whoa. You want to make it double high protein? We add protein powder. Yes, um, we add protein powder. And also, um, I talk about my protein ice cream a lot on the channel. I did just show it in a full day of, uh, of eating, a couple of full days of eating ago. There's also a short on our channel called I Eat This Every Day Instead of Ice Cream. So you can get the recipe there. We use this protein powder to put into our oatmeal, put into our protein ice cream. This is the HTLT SEPS casein whey protein, maple cookie. Literally the best tasting protein powder and I love the maple cookie because it's really versatile. We put it in Greek yogurt, make a low cal high protein fruit dip in oatmeal, put it in uh, with this in our protein ice cream like I said. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below for this. We love like the rotisserie chicken from Costco. It's super cheap. It's like the cheapest rotisserie chicken you can get. And if you portion it, it will last a long time. Like Kyle and I can eat off of that for almost a whole week without cooking. Uncle Ben's Bistro Express rice, 90 seconds in the microwave. We always have these kinds of things on hand. Low calorie soup that has decent protein in it, canned soup. Anything where 
because like most of you guys, we're really busy. We also don't love doing work. We like spending time together and not spending it cooking or doing a lot of work to get the results. Like, I did lose the weight with portion control, like I said. If you wanna know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. Links down below and code Nicole will save you 10%. I also have an everything bundle because I have four ebooks actually. If you buy all four at once in the everything bundle, you save money, then use my code and get a double savings. And the link's down below for that too. Number three, the third easy step is prioritize low calorie protein and fiber because just by adding protein and fiber into every single meal, they both help you feel fuller longer. Fibers slow digesting, so it helps you feel fuller longer. Protein lowers your hunger hormone, ghrelin, and again, helps you feel fuller longer. So by putting that at every meal, you're automatically gonna get fuller quicker and for longer, and you're gonna be less likely to overeat by making your base some sort of protein. Also, you don't have to put a lot of effort because if you automatically make a meal plan, you put protein and fiber at every meal and you make those your bases, like lean protein, rotisserie chicken, like I said, that's one of your meals. You don't have to think. You already know, okay, I have protein. Now I'll just add a few things and make a great meal. So speaking of prioritizing protein, like I've already showed you some, um, this is protein milk. This is just becoming like a popular thing everywhere and Kyle and I wish that this would have been around when we first started our weight loss journey because this stuff is amazing. There is Fair Life, which is 80 calories a cup if you get the 0%. Walmart was out or we would have had the Fair Life, but this stuff's yes. pretty good too. Yes, exactly. This stuff is really good. A cup is um, 100 calories and the protein milks, the Fair Life and this one, both have 14 grams of protein. And I believe regular milk, if you do like the 2%, it's 130 calories a cup and only like nine grams of protein. So this is low cal plus extra protein and we use this in everything. And if you love cereal as much as Sassy and I do, um, but you, you're not ready to change, if you, obviously we eat cereal because we love it. If you take cereal and you just have a smaller bowl and you don't change the amount of milk, just change the kind, add the protein and the lower calorie milk like this, you're gonna feel fuller eating your cereal. You're also gonna be eating less calories because it's a bit of a smaller bowl, a lower calorie milk. You'll be in a calorie deficit, eating what you like, not doing any work. You're still eating cereal and milk, just a little bit less and a little lower calorie. Those are the things that really make a difference. And Fiber, add fiber to every meal too, through fruit, through veg. A lot of people, they wanna take away carbs, and I did this too, but carbs really, like, it has nothing to do with the carbs while you're gaining weight. It's because you're in a surplus. You can eat carbs if you're eating in a calorie deficit. You can eat anything you want. Cereal, pizza, we ate all of that the whole time we were losing weight. It's about how much, not what kind of food you're eating. Add fiber, we eat whole grain toast. Two slices is 170 calories and six grams of protein. So if you choose the whole grain carbs, you get protein in that too. And the fiber in it also helps you feel full. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to get rid of excuses because when you try to change, your brain is gonna give you every excuse in the book to not change and not get the results. But by doing this lazy girl's guide to weight loss, doing these three easy steps, it's gonna feel like effortless. Like you're not doing anything at all and you're gonna be questioning, am I actually dieting? Like I get to eat what I like, I'm just eating a lower calorie version and I'm losing weight. Like I'm not giving anything up. I'm not feeling deprived of eating all food groups. We were shocked. Like we ate a portion of low calorie ice cream and a two low cal cookies pretty much every night when we were losing weight in the beginning. And we couldn't believe we were getting results eating all the food groups because we'd spent years taking food groups away. You can eat regular food, 
You can eat what you like. You don't have to take anything away. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to lose weight and you don't have to spend hours and hours of your time to lose the weight. Make it simple. Follow these three steps. Choose food that you love. Choose food in your budget. You can do some exercise. We added 15 minutes of walking to the portion control, but it was mostly the diet that made the difference. We were able to get 50 pounds off in three months by sticking to these three easy steps and then move on and get 130 pounds off and keep it off for as long as we have because we still follow these three easy things now. We are all about the results, not so much about the working part and that is how regular people, real people, lose weight in the real world. And that's what Kyle and I are. And if you want more tips from real friends in the real world, like losing weight and keeping it off, watch this vid and this vid, honey, because that is what we do around here. We shop at Walmart, we eat normal food, we like cereal and milk, and we drink Diet Pop, and I also eat margarine, and that's how I do it. Thanks for watching, sweethearts. Appreciate your support. Weight loss should never be a punishment. You don't have to make it hard. There's an easier way to do it. And Kyle and I, we made this channel because we struggled for so long and we thought that you had to do a lot of hard things and a lot of work in order to get results. And that's why we failed for so many years. Once we realized you can make it easier, it can feel effortless, that's when the results really started coming and that's why we're here having kept the weight off for as long as we have, talking to you through this cute camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.